Who is the worst kind of person to be sat next to on a long flight? I'd take a big person over a smelly person. Nothing is worse than someone who smells like ass and you're trapped. Total violation of the senses. Someone who is hell-bent on chatting when your whole demeanor screams leave me alone. Smelly person. I mean I don't think there's anything you can do about it while on the plane. Definitely someone who talks non-stop or takes up all the armrest space. A sick person. An older woman wearing the most foul-smelling perfume my nose has smelled. It was a nine-hour flight. I felt like throwing up from my headache a few hours in. I recently sat by a girl who kept blowing her snotty nose into her fingers. I once had the people behind me change their toddler's poopy diaper right there at the seat and oh. God it was awful. We all turned the vents on to blow it away but it was pretty futile. People were gagging. A tall person with really long legs. I realize it's not their fault. But I don't like being touched and having to sit through a flight with someone's knees pressed. Against mine is not fun. A child with unattentive parents. People who don't wear headphones. Terrorists. There was a guy on one of the travel reddits arguing that if his leg space is a little too small. Because of the way the row in front of him seat legs are bolted to the floor. He should be able to put his feet on the other side of those seat legs in his neighbor's foot space. So probably that guy. The guy who chugs two drinks and then sleeps snoring loudly for the entire flight. It's me. Hi. I'm the problem. It's me. Sat next to a woman who coughed the entire flight and wouldn't wear a mask. Three days later. I get COVID. Sitting in the airport right now killing time before a flight. And these responses are making me nervous. A screaming baby. From Hawaii to LA I sat next to a guy wearing a small tank top and shorts who had clearly wiped out. On a skateboard the previous day. Body was covered in road rash that was oozing the entire time. He just picked at all his wounds scabs ooze the entire flight. Going with an unusual answer. But an attractive woman. Every guy in the area tries to strike up a conversation with her. And it's the most boring stuff to listen to. My mother. She will talk your ear off. Get your phone number and try to meet up you in the future when you've long forgotten about her. Someone who doesn't have headphones when you're trying to read a new book you've been saving for. This specific flight. Your ex who cheated on you. Uncontrolled child. 13 hours Dubai to JFK. I was sat next to a woman and her son. No real issue. I was fortunate enough to be on the adjacent aisle. For 13 hours the child ran up and down the aisles scream laughing. The attendants thought it was adorable and took turns playing with him. The worst person I've ever sat next to decided to cut a sandwich with chopsticks. Took them a solid four minutes of sawing while elbowing me to get through it. For being the small person they somehow managed to be constantly in my personal space and later on. Cried and screamed like a child when the flight attendant took the drink from them due to rough. Turbulence. I stayed on the flight at the connection and the flight attendant came up after she had gotten off. The plane and apologized to me. I'm usually more worried about who sits behind or in front of me. Gonna get flamed fat people who are sat in their seat and in half of yours. Heavy smoker who oozes nicotine stank from every pore. 
A person who gets up every five minutes. Someone who wants to share their religion. The person who wants to clip their toenails at the most inconvenient times. Talkers. I.e. people who want to chat with me. Look. I just want to eat my seven tiny pretzels and then take an uncomfortable nap. Don't tell me how you support my life choices because of your niece named Poon in Minneapolis. Don't ask me about my tattoos. Don't ask me what line of work I'm in. And if I wanted a joke. I'd follow you into the john and watch you take a leak. What kind of name is Poon anyway? Not being cruel but this happened to me. Autistic person with spastic CPI felt for the guy, but the constant slamming against the seat and yelling were a bit much for me. I worked with autistic adults for 30 years so I smiled and did not complain but think the staff should have researched a handicapped seat or harness for the man. Two large Albanian women with excruciatingly severe body odor. A dead person. On a flight to Turkey 17 years a goe a man died and the poor girl who sat beside him had to stay. Put on the full plane. All the gentlemen who puked all over the row in front of him. Also on a full plane. Someone who expects you to entertain them and won't shut up. It was 1982. I was 48. They were nine months. It was my lifelong dream vacation to see my beloved Buckingham Palace. And my goal was to make one of the Queen's guard laugh. I was so tired when I got off the plane that I couldn't think of anything funny to say. I travel with earplugs. So even crying babies don't much bother me. My friend was on a flight where he was required by the flight attendant to lift his armrest because the morbidly obese passenger next to him couldn't fit in his own seat. So the entire flight he had a fat arm, hip and leg pressed against him. For me, the worst is a smelly person. Please shower and or take a beano before flying. An obese person with poor personal hygiene. An obese person who overflows into your space. An influencer. A chatty religious person with Ebola. COVID. The plague. Lice. With a crying child who has projectile air sickness. Or an influencer. Loud kids and babies. A chatty narcissist. The silent farter. Your nose gets assaulted at random times by foul odors that vary in the degrees of awfulness. Will it be rotten eggs? Or decaying flesh sent next. Not even the farter knows. An extremely overweight person or a pervert. I will die on this hill but I hate when the person in front of me reclines their seat. I have limited space already my dude. It's always a bigger guy too I mean I'm a bigger dude which is why I never recline my seat. Because of this. I always end up with the tiniest amount of space possible. Simone who overflows their seat. Someone highly scented or someone who insists on talking. The absolute worst would be all three in one. So. I've had big guys with their elbows in my side. I've had Karens. I've had a emotional care dog obviously not one as it barked and pissed. But the worst was having Ted Cruz be on the same flight as me. Someone who wears natural deodorant nauseated face. A shower curtain ring salesperson. An obese one with bow. A fat person. A baby or a person with COVID. Someone with anthrax. A farter.